Indiana Senator and Foreign Relations Committee member Todd Young is here with us. Uh, great to see you, sir. Good afternoon to you. Can you tell us a little bit about what's in the legislation um, and what you're looking to do here and, and, and what kind of support is on both sides of the aisle? Well, thank you, Jackie. Uh, yes, the Endless Frontier Act uh, is on the floor. This is a broadly bipartisan piece of legislation passed out of committee 24 to 4. And its intention is to make sure that the United States of America leads the world, working with our partners and allies in developing our next generation technologies like quantum computing and artificial intelligence and, and, and battery storage, things that have national security implications, but will also benefit fit all Americans and make us more prosperous as we head into the future. China, of course, is through their state capitalist model, investing heavily in these very technologies. We think we can harness uh, the talents and creativity of the American people working with the federal scientific enterprise and uh, outmatch them, outgrow them and out innovate them. It's definitely a step in the right direction. I mean, drafting legislation like this is, is important, but enforcing it is also the other piece. What are the challenges there? Well, we want to uh, enforce export controls. Uh, we've actually been quite good as a country in recent years on defensive measures as it relates to China, whether it's imposing tariffs uh, against the Chinese for nefarious behavior, uh, import, uh, adding new export controls, uh, ripping out Huawei technologies uh, from some of our, our partners and allies after persuading them that there are other options that don't give uh, the Chinese Communist Party a back door uh, to their citizen secrets and, and uh, to some of their government's intelligence. But we've been less good playing offense. And this is our opportunity to play offense against the Chinese. The Endless Frontier Act, by making these bold investments, uh, will send a very strong message if we can get this passed out of the Senate floor in the next couple of weeks, which I believe we will. Uh, in addition to some other pieces of legislation also pertaining to China and countering China's uh, malign behavior. Uh, and, and so we'll be considering uh, multiple pieces of legislation with uh, our Endless Frontier Act as the base bill. Okay. Well, the CDC director is now saying that it's possible that COVID-19 did leak from a laboratory um, in China, although not the most likely origin. Your thoughts on that? Well, look, it's likely we'll never know the answer to that, or it'll be a long time before we know uh, the answer for that uh, with great certitude. But uh, look, I've always uh, suspected that uh, this either leaked out of a lab or was a result of grossly reckless and irresponsible behavior uh, from the Chinese Communist Party. When the World Health Organization dispatched uh, their individuals to investigate in, into uh, China after a long uh, period of time uh, after they had requested to do so. These were hand-picked individuals, hand-picked researchers from the Chinese Communist Party who were offered limited access uh, to various sites. So uh, it's, uh, it's encouraging to know uh, that we still have people studying this and, and trying to arrive at conclusions within uh, the party, within uh, the uh, administration. But I think the broader point is we know that the Chinese Communist Party is guilty, guilty of, of gross negligence and reporting the, uh, the, uh, the, the fact that there was this virus there. They didn't give the United States of America and others an opportunity uh, to prepare, and therefore uh, this virus spread very rapidly. Uh, this uh, ended up killing hundreds of thousands of Americans needlessly and damaging our economy uh, significantly. And uh, frankly, the Chinese Communist Party ought to be paying uh, for all of this. And um, uh, certainly their reputation has been very badly damaged and uh, trust has been lost. And we need to hold them to account, which is part of what the Endless Frontier Act is about. Uh, it's, it's about ensuring that the U.S. can lead into the future as opposed to uh, relying on an unreliable, um, grossly reckless and authoritarian regime like the Chinese Communist Party.